James Dillard Freeman wrote this about stillness. There are many kinds of stillness. There is the ice-locked stillness of a winter lake. There is the stillness of the lake in the summer where small birds sing. And the wind washes small waves softly on the shore. There is also the stillness of the lake that is your mind. When in your prayers you listen, not to your own words or thoughts, but for the still, small voice of God. In Isaiah thirty fifteen, it says, In returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. In quietness and in trust, you will find your strength. The world in which we live, it's a noisy world, a noisy place, a busy place, filled with sounds that we have learned to accept as normal. But a moment of God-centered silence can be a much-needed blessing. Today, let us seek the power that is found in the silence. Let us consciously tune out the external sounds, the busy sounds, and in confidence and in faith, tune to the quiet, creative silence that is at the heart of us. In times of quiet meditation, we experience a vitalizing communication with God's life-giving presence. I've known people, especially young people, that throughout their whole lives they've never been silent. They've always had the TV on, the radio on, the computer on with some program playing. To turn all that off, surprisingly, is a frightening thing for some. And yet we find in it is everything that is life renewing. You can't get totally renewed through sleep. You have to do it through conscious silence and realizing again the power and the authority and the almightiness of God in your life. So let us joyfully take the time and welcome the opportunity for a moment of inspiring God-centered silence. And in this silence, we relax all tension, calm all thoughts, quiet all distractions. And in this God-centered silence, we are open to divine order and peace. God's creative silence imparts to us a new sense of, of direction, a new source of strength, a new level of quiet trust and faith.